In today's video, we're going to be looking at how suitable a Great Dane is for a first time dog owner. Welcome back to the Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So if you're a lifelong lover thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss miss a future Great Dane video. So then let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at how suitable a Great Dane is for first time dog owners. Let's start by looking into their temperaments. It's no surprise when I tell you that Great Danes are known as gentle giants. That is the allure of having a dog as big or even bigger than yourself. They make beautiful additions to their family, their peaceful disposition and relentlessness attempts at being a lap dog will just make them a joy to be around. Who could have a bad day when your 60 kilogram Great Dane is desperate to share your spot on the sofa? They're very people orientated and will even go as far as to defending your home and family should they feel the need to. They were historically utilised as guard dogs for noble families and some aspect of that is still present. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femre Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. There will only be a few times they'll bark. They don't tend to bark for the sake of it and that will be to get your attention to what they may deem as a threat. You can expect them to be vocal with sassy back chat that comes out as grumbling which will come from a good natured place, I promise. As a puppy, once they're cleared to meet and greet other people and other dogs, it's so, so important to socialize them correctly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean meeting as many dogs and as many people as possible. It's more that they need to explore the world around them in a positive way to ensure they, you have a well-rounded dog that's less likely to be reactive. A Great Dane can be a good guard dog there when they're fully grown, meaning that they can be wary of strangers. It's best to be aware of this and the best way to overcome it is to socialise them with people in a positive environment when they're young. They may still guard the household with their booming barks, but they may become less likely to be hostile to everyone outside of their immediate family. Now, even though they have an impressive size, they can be sensitive to harsh training techniques. They love their owners, and so a positive approach will allow for better results. You'll want to train them from a young age to make sure they're manageable by the time they get to their full size. Whilst they aren't overly intelligent, they will require a level of experience that may overwhelm someone that isn't used to being around dogs. Their size alone can make them a daunting task, but for those more familiar with dogs, will be more likely to harbour a good training relationship and therefore create a happy, well-trained dog. But don't be fooled for their lazy appearance. They still need at least an hour's exercise per day. Jogging is one of the best training to do with these dogs, as human walking can be too slow to truly give them suitable aerobic exercise. Be wary not to let them bound about too much before they're fully mature. It's also important not to overexercise this breed. The strain on their joints simply due to their size can cause some discomfort if you regularly take them on hikes. To begin with, let us explore hip and elbow dysplasia. Great Danes commonly suffer from this disorder. It comes from the joints in the hips and the elbows not fitting together harmoniously. If left untreated, it can cause arthritis and even lameness. It's important that for the first couple of years of their lives, Great Dane pups shouldn't be allowed to charge about, jump on and off the sofa, um, and anything like that. As hard as it may be, it can help prevent any future joint problems. 
Whilst this is a hereditary issue, meaning that preventing it is to ensure that any breeding bitches and studs get a full hip and elbow score before being mated, owners still need to be aware and do their bit to prevent unnecessary suffering. If you should notice your Great Dane becoming stiff, sore or reluctant to get up, it's always best to get them seen by a vet. Another major concern I will share with you is GDV or bloat. A way in which you can prevent this from happening is to slow feed your dog. This will stop them swallowing excess air if they're allowed to quickly wolf down their food. Elevating food and water bowls can help prevent a Great Dane from swallowing air into their stomach. For a wet or raw diet, you may even want to look into slow feeder bowls. They're extremely effective. But for a dry diet, large Kong wobblers are brilliant for their brains and their stomachs. Now let's say you've researched and located a reputable breeder that will give you a gangly, lovable Great Dane puppy. You have to be able to give them the best home. Again, in the early stages, it's best to ask a reputable breeder who they think the breed is perfect for. They will know the breed inside and out, meaning that they can make sure suitable homes are found. Great Danes are known as gentle giants, however they also tend to not know how big they are. A family with a very small child or children may want to either wait until their children are at least taller than the Great Dane just to minimalise any accidents that can occur. You want to be able to allow space for a dog that can reach up to three feet in height and three foot in length. They'll want to share your spot on the sofa. As much as you might prefer one breed to another, you have to be somewhat objective when looking for your suitability. If you live in an apartment with limited space or have no access to a garden, you may want to downsize the breed you're after. However, if you have a decent sized open plan property with either a bigger than average garden or easy access to secure open parks, a Great Dane could become your best friend. So let's recap what we've gone through today. Their gentle giant nature is alluring to a lot of people. They can be affectionate to all members of the family, but still may overwhelm smaller children. Whilst they aren't known for barking, they will alert you to threats and will give sassy grumblings that will keep you entertained all day. Socialisation is key for this breed. Plenty of positive exposure is what will allow your pup to grow into a well-rounded adult. Positive training is the best to get the most out of this breed. Harsh correction is not the way to go with a Great Dane. You do want to be consistent though. A fully grown unruly Great Dane can quickly become unmanageable. You have to be realistic when thinking of owning a Great Dane. Their impressive size makes them best for people that have experience with dogs and how best to accommodate them. They aren't unsuitable for first time dog owners, but they do come with their own challenges that first time owners should be aware of. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Great Dane Show.